Hey, Globy. What's that circle in your head? Just kidding. I know what it is. It's the A-Train. What's the A-Train? Well, it's a series of five satellites put into space by NASA. The A-Train uses the latest in technology to study our Earth system, including climate change. The A-Train travels around Earth at incredible speeds, more than 25,000 kilometers per hour. That's more than 15,000 miles per hour. Can you imagine how fast that would be in a car? But the really cool thing about the A-Train satellites is that they all travel in the exact same path around the Earth, just 15 minutes apart. They do this so they can get a better picture of Earth's surface and the layers of air or atmosphere above the Earth. Let's say you go outside to take a picture. Then you go back inside to get a thermometer to measure the temperature. Then you go back inside again to get a barometer to measure the pressure. Then you have to go back inside one more time to get a rain gauge. By the time you make your final measurements, the clouds in your original picture are long gone. So the A-Train is a collection of different instruments on different satellites that follow each other closely to get their measurements of a place at almost the same time. The idea with that is we can basically measure the same part of the Earth system essentially at the same time. Lynn Chambers is a scientist for NASA. She studies Earth's atmosphere. And so that allows us to take a lot of different instruments to look at things in a lot of different ways. Aqua is the first satellite in the A-Train, and it's the one we'll concentrate on today. The word aqua comes from the Latin word for water, and that's exactly what the aqua satellite studies, water. But aqua doesn't just measure water in the obvious form you're thinking about. It uses several onboard instruments to measure water in all three states, solid, liquid, and gas. Think about all the places we find water on our planet. In its liquid form, we find it in our oceans, lakes, and rivers. And of course, we also see it when it rains. In its solid form, we see it in ice and snow. Wow, that looks cold. But water can also be found in a state that's difficult to see and measure, gas. Sometimes you see a puddle of water after a hard rain, and then a few hours later, the puddle's gone. What happened? Well, it either seeped into the ground or it evaporated into the atmosphere in the form of gas. And the Aqua satellite measures all of these different states of water both on the surface of our planet and in the atmosphere above. So why is this so important? All of the information the Aqua satellite gathers helps scientists better understand how ecosystems change. An ecosystem is a community of living things and all of the parts of the environment where those things live. If an ecosystem changes, that change can have an effect on our global climate. The A-Train gives us great information that we could only get from space, and it helps scientists understand how these changes can affect us here on Earth. We can look at energy flows. We can look into the clouds. And coming soon, there'll be another satellite added to the A-Train, the OCO, which will measure carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. An increase of carbon dioxide in our air is most likely a major cause of global warming. So once again, the A-Train will be helping us gather important information so we can protect our planet. So the next time you're outside, look up into the blue sky and remember there's an A-train flying right over your head. <laughs>